So this is my storage container. I ordered it off a place on the internet, a place locally actually, but I found them on the internet. Uh, it's a storage container for mining rigs. And what I have here is uh, an intake. If you, you look at the air intake, you'll see I've got a louver system. My fans are off right now on purpose, but uh, I'll show you the fans in a second. And then coming outside the top of there, I've got uh, two antennas for uh, 4G internet access. And then I had a, a 200 amp panel installed of 220. And then I had uh, 10 uh, single phase 220 outlets added plus a couple of 120 outlets for uh, peripheral computer stuff and and the fans. I've got uh, two 3000 CFM fans in there. By the way, it was hard to get a uh, a meter. I, I had to find this used on the used market from an RV place where they were metering electricity to RVs. Couldn't just pick that up on Amazon. Thought that was weird. My exhaust fans are on the back. These are the louvers for the fans for exhaust air. I haven't quite fully loaded this place up yet, but we're getting there. So what I did was I, I put the uh, 3,000, two 3,000 CFM fans. One is constantly on, and then the other is on a uh, thermostat on the wall over here. And then here's my uh, 4G internet access. I've just got the antennas running from the outside to the inside. Doesn't seem to be a problem. And then I've got a reset switch on the 4G cell signal. What that does is if the, uh, if the switch can't access the internet, it turns off the uh, 4G router and turns it back on. Uh, then I've just got standard uh, GPU rigs, uh, a few ASIC miners up there. Um, I'm using a pep loop load balancer, so I've got another 3G cell service, and that's connected there, so if, if the main uh, internet does turn off, it'll uh, pop over onto the backup internet access. And I'm sure you guys have all seen GPU rates before, nothing special there. Um, then I just had uh, outlets installed, uh, 220, uh, and then just run off my cords. I know it's a god-awful mess, but the idea is that you wouldn't have to walk back here and do anything. Um, anyway, so this is my version of a, uh, my, oh, by the way, this is the uh, inlet air. You can see the filters are a little bit dirty. This has been running for, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks, something like that. Uh, and so I'm guessing these little cheap plated feature filters are going to have to be replaced every uh, couple of weeks. I, I've got some spares already, but... I do that on the next trip out here. And so this is a shipping container full of, uh, or half like full of mining rigs. And I've still got uh, about seven or eight rigs to bring over here from my where I build them. And I just put a little laptop in the corner here where I can kind of monitor things and step to so some short guy. Put a couple of uh, neck gear switches in here to run all the Ethernet connections. Anyway, so that's my uh, shipping container. 